This slide depicts two important regions that are essential for carrying the developing spermatozoa from the Reti testes region towards the ductus deferens. And the, these two regions are one, the efferent ductules, which can be seen outlined here, and the epididymis, which can be found down in this region. So the efferent ductules in man, there's approximately 20 of them that are going to connect from the mediastinum testes, where the reti testes are found, connect this region to the epididymis. So if we look at the, the structure of the efferent ductules, we can see that it has a characteristic scalloped appearance, meaning that we have alternating high columnar cells with low columnar cells. And also on these, the apex of these cells will have cilia that are going to help move the non-motile sperm towards the epididymis. And in addition to having cilia, there's also smooth muscle that surrounds these efferent ductules that are also going to produce peristaltic contractions that are going to help bring the sperm towards the epididymis. And the extra testicular fluid that is found in the lumen of the efferent ductules that were released from the Sertoli cells that were found in the seminiferous tubules is going to be absorbed here. So if we compare this, the epithelial lining of the efferent ductules to the epididymis, we can see some quite different uh, quite different appearance. So here we can see, this is a, the epididymis region, and we can see we have these nice uh, pseudostratified columnar epithelium that line the epididymis all around here. And then we can see little basal cells that are against a basement membrane. These are our stem cells that are going to help rejuvenate and replenish the, uh, the pseudostratified columnar epithelium here. And also, coming off these cells at their, their apical segments, we can see the stereocilia. And these stereocilia are non-motile. They're actually going to help increase the surface area for absorbing excess testicular fluid and help concentrate the sperm that we can see here inside the lumen, as well as they're going to help phagocytize um, some residual bodies that are left over from the developing sperm. And in addition, we can see, just like the efferent ductules, we have a sort of more robust region of smooth muscle that's going to surround the entire epididymis. And this is going to become continuous with the layer, the middle layer of uh, smooth muscle that's found in the ductus deferens. So if we zoom out once again, we can see a nice appearance of the two regions. And they have the efferent ductules have a distinct scalloped appearance of their lumens, whereas the epididymis, we have a nice smooth um, pseudostratified columnar epithelium. And even right now in this gross view, when we're looking far out, we can see that in the epididymis, this is where we have storage and maturation of the sperm. So with it, in conjunction with the autonomic nervous system, that's going to further propel all these sperm through the, the vas deferens out and towards the, um, the ducks for seminal mission.